It's Gabriel Brown, or Black Griffin. I've been doing this for over 10 years. That makes me feel great. Oh, hey all. Don't mind me. I heard we're going to be exposed to some new 5G, so I just want to be prepared. So for this React, I'm trying a few new things. First and foremost, I have a new microphone headset. And over here, I have a second camera, my GoPro, so I can have a little multi-angle editing. Hi! Hello. It's a magpie! And it's a Mary Medley. <gasps> and we're going to watch ponies, because we haven't done that in... A while! A while! <laughs> so as all of you obviously already know, why am I even bringing this up? I am a spider bat. But as it just so happens, whenever I need to go to a bronies react, I need to go through the Equestria Girl style portal and it turns me into a human. Happens to the best of us. So, this time, however, I have a device that will revert the changes and turn me back into a spider bat. Are you ready? <laughs> Nope, doesn't work. Alright, never mind. We'll just start the Bernie's react like it's like nothing's happened. Like, what? okay, fine, fine. I'm not mad. So I've seen a few clips, <laughs> and I know this is going to be a visually rough special. Alright, hi, I'm Saber Spark, and I'm so late with my footage. Let's just do this. I feel like I just gotta walk into traffic with Larson. This will set the precedent for the series because the movie, that's one thing. The movie was phenomenal. It was great. Mwah, absolutely chef's kiss. But when you're going from that level of CGI to this, that's, that's where we're gonna have the issue. So let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Bronies React, Generation 5 in full swing. And we have C1E1. Chapter 1, Episode 1 of My Little Pony, Make Your Mark on Netflix, the yeah. first of the, I guess, specials, or the first of the episodes. What is this? I feel like it's a lead-in into the show itself. It is, oh. yeah. It, it sets up a lot of the environment and character instances that will be happening in the show. Cool! Well, without further ado, 45 minutes, let's go. MLPG5, the first special, the start of the series. Let's see how good it is, uh, despite the visuals. Let's check it out. Once more, into the breach. That, did, that didn't actually start it. It just, it just... Oh, I do it again and it starts it. Okay, thank you, Netflix. You're very hand, you're very nice. I love you, media conglomerate. Have a goddamn monopoly. Fuck you. The movie looked so much better. I'm old enough to remember when this was still on The Hub. Only on The Hub. Da -da 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 -da. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that these birds should be able to fly. New York Flyers. Top Gun. Now, we know where 90% of the budget for this special went. Look at that hair, look at those feathers. I'm wondering if they used the same assets for this that they did in the movie or if they had to make all new assets. That looks so good. You look good. This is an important moment because it is now suddenly we know what general art style they're going for the, for the regular content, which is not the movie. The movie was very obviously high fidelity. This, so far, I'm not noticing much of a difference. That might change later. Let's find out. Never mind, seeing it in motion, maybe not. I heard it, I heard the doo 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 doo. Ah. I appreciate the nod to My Little Pony's theme. That's the only way you know in that it's My Little Pony. Not by the ponies, but by the jingle. I was wrong. This is where the budget went. I like the diving board. Just an immediate noticeable downgrade. Maximum sneakage in action. So did you get it yet, 
Zip. Almost. Well, hurry up. On it. The sound effects for those two are pretty good. Uh, voice acting is pretty good so far. I mean, we know they're not the original cast because of money, but they're doing a good job. I, I knew it was Zip and, and Pip. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? It makes sense. They got good people to like match up with the people from the movie. Maximum Sneaky engaged. Movie reference. <laughs> Ooh, she said the thing from the movie. Right out of the gate with the references, huh? Maximum effort. Deadpool reference. Oh, she forgot to uh, turn it on. I've had that mistake with recordings myself. I'm happy to know that this is just gonna be about Zip. <sighs> Damn windows always opening on their own. That's half our job. Just don't look up. And just like that, the bar for equestrian guards remains low. Wouldn't they feel the air currents? I guess that's the disadvantage of wearing cool armor. They must have zero vertical vision to have missed her. How did hey they Billy, not just... <laughs> do you hear something? <laughs> Me either. Don't bother looking up. <laughs> we can fly now, but we're not used to going looking up there. It's like Rambo Dash, but done right. Hey, mom. Is she dead? Oh, I'm a sucker for baby ponies. Oh, look at Pip before the world crushed her. Oh, kind of a funny detail here. Once Zip is off screen, you can see her reflection slowly floating away because the reflections probably weren't rendered when the animation was done. Mission accomplished. Where did she hide that microphone? You gotta Sweet. Go. You gotta <laughs> oh, let's make our mark together. See, I'd be like, what the frick? I Guys, do you see that? I swear, it looks like the clouds say Netflix presents. Does this singer sound like Ashley Ball to you? Just keeps on getting better, better, better. I don't know if I like the black border. Every pony everywhere, you can feel it. Underwear. Hey, Jillian. Oh, this is written by Jillian. Get that bag. So now I know I'm gonna hate it. I'm kidding, Jilly Bean. I'm joking. I didn't know GM Barrow wrote this. Oh. I'm really excited now. One of the best writers, right? Yeah. Would have been better if it was M.A. Larson, though. You know. Everybody becomes an alicorn. <laughs> You can see that the water is just a surface layer and there's no distortion in the cliffs, which continue uh, on the layer below. This song is a fucking bop. Right? Not disappointed with the music. Mm -mm. A jam. I liked that song. Good job, song. <laughs> I know we're going to be dealing with a different animation and that's going to yep. be probably the biggest talking point yep. outside of the story that, that we're, you know, yeah. getting into here. Um, but like bits and pieces of this feels like a video game. Yeah. Watch out! I feel like the animation's hit or miss. Let them learn the hard way. Let them hit the ground. It's Derpy and Glurpy. It's Derpy's kids. You can't do gray and cream without it just being another Derpy. I'm so sorry. Heads up, everybody! <laughs> well, forget the Pegasite falling out of the air. That train is off the tracks. You've been rescued by Rainbow. <clears throat> Pip! <laughs> Zip! Oh no! <laughs> Shit! Thank you, Princess Zip. Zip, just call me Zip. I bet you zip it. The magic from the Unity Crystals in the Bright House is new to all of us. The MacGuffin in the MacGuffin Rainbow is new. Nothing could possibly go wrong with the MacGuffin. Do you still have that under warranty? Oh! Ah! Where is she? Oh, is he? Is he? Is he? Are you up? Like, what? Are you okay? I assume they're supposed to look tired. Is he so... Oh, man. She just looked extremely depressed. It's hungover, Izzy. If this is a weird animation quirk, that's a very bad look. She had one too many unicorn margaritas last night. That's really all it was. She's not actually sick. She just knows how to fucking party. She, she knows how to go hard. Yes! Use my lucky microphone. Where did she put that? How did she do that? Really? How is she holding that? That's not a microphone. Little spider hooks. There she is. What was that? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Animation. Oh, it wasn't even the animation for me. It was the voice. Really? I was like, 
That's not, that's not, Izzy. What took you so long? What took you so long? <laughs> These ponies look so tired. It's our house. In the middle of our street, our house. Our house. In the middle of our house, our house. In the middle of our house, our house. In the middle of our house, our house. In the middle of our house. But if mom knew I was there, I'd get stuck doing one of her random princess lessons. Princess lessons. That's more than Twilight Sparkle ever got. Uh, yeah, no one ever wants to see their mom when they have to go home. Mm -mm. Pretend you're talking to us and not like all of Equestria. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Stop talking like that! Stop talking! So by all of Equestria, they really just meant three places. I mean, Equestria is huge. And what we've seen so far is just this little bit. Hey, every pony, I'm Sunny Star Scout. <laughs> it's like a, an advertisement starts in the middle of her video. I live here in Maritime Bay with my friends. This, that's not how, that's the, the microphone. You talk towards the microphone. If the microphone is over here, then you're not talking towards the microphone anymore. Do you see the difference, Sunny? I don't feel like a microphone in this sense is the most practical device for a pony. In the past few months, Maritime Bay used to be the place- What's she doing with her leg? The way her hoof is bent. <laughs> it's really awkward looking. Yeah, <laughs> we're both like push-ups. Where is every pony? This is supposed to be a great big city full of horses. Unicorns always see them right wood and Pegasi never left Zephyr Heights. I thought it was really clever in the movie how each pony kind had different levels of technology. The unicorns had their wooden mechanisms, earth ponies had electromechanical contraptions, and Pegasi had microchips in their smartphones. I hope they at least mention the distribution of technology, because glancing over it with this one shot is kind of disappointing. But when we found the three Unity Crystals and brought them back together? They're called Unity Crystals. It brought us back together! Ah! Pony kinds were reunited in friendship! Someone should catch that mutant broccoli behind them. Why are there smiling monkey emojis? Are those like little Santa hats? Right? Like when they were going up, the little emojis along the oh, side. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like Sunshine's Hearts and Santa Claus. Just raises more questions than answers. Now, any pony can live anywhere. Any, any brony? I'm sorry, was that a slip of the tongue that sounded like she said e any brony? It'd be Zephyr Heights. No question. I mean, look at it. They've got technology. It's like Las Vegas in the sky. Going to Las Vegas in the sky. Las Vegas in the sky! We have magic again! It's Luna! Is that Princess Luna? No. Shit. Yee! Yee! <laughs> do well, the unicorns and Pegasi do. <laughs> You're still a bunch of dirty earth ponies. The earth ponies just suck. Izzy, you just stole from someone. You aren't supposed to be stealing fruit. I'm getting bronies react deja vu from this magic effect. I like the early approach of how do we indicate a unicorn is holding something with magic? Just put sparkles everywhere. <laughs> I hate it. Izzy. I hate it. Izzy, no. They did decent for the other people. Like, literally everyone else is fine so far. Now you, Sunny, show every pony what you can do. We have magic. <laughs> Sunny, show them what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nothing. That's right. Come on, Sunny, flip your horn out. Whip it out. Turn into an alicorn. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> she can do that. <laughs> I forgot. That's an earth pony, pegasus, and unicorn all in one. It comes from having a three-way. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's a that's all three of them because it's kind of only one turn. Where's the earth pony really coming? Ah! That was Pip as an alicorn. If alicorns are a new thing, how why would Pip have an emoji for it? Pip. <laughs> She's, she, what's the word? No, honey. <laughs> not your time. Huh? Emmy Larson's not here yet, Pip. No, my time. He's coming. This terrible motion blur is really distracting. I think it has the negative effect of making the animation look worse than it actually is. This camera pan is an example of some kind of post-process blur, which is clearly not blurring in the right direction, but the same problem exists throughout the special. Sometimes we even see the background get blurred when a character moves. It's frustrating because there's so many technical issues like this I could fix with just a little bit of time in After Effects. Hey, Hasbro, call me. We'll work for Pony. You know it doesn't really work like that, guys. I can't just dip. Anyway. Performance issues. The more I'm looking at the animation, the more I'm like, oh, oh, it doesn't look that good, actually. Like, 
the standard was set with the movie. I know, don't compare it to the movie. Like some of that lighting is a bit unflattering. Some of those expressions don't work very well. Why does Izzy look so tired? I mean, same, but... <laughs> Do you like super fun times? Are you interested in learning more about Earth Pony traditions and tasting local treats? Whoa, back it up there, Sonny. Lamp oil. Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough bits. Do you want to see... Do you want us to show you what it means to not have personal space? Sonny, I don't need to check your boogers, okay? Get back off. Yes, you bet. And yes... That basket, skip, 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 ooh. I hate it. Izzy's voice differs the most from the movie. Like, Izzy was best part of the movie. So great. Now she's kind of the least. <sighs> yeah. This is also only like 15 minutes in. But also, not a great start for Izzy. Then you should come to our annual Maritime Bay Day Festival. I can see this becoming a convention in less than a year. Maybe I'm just a becoming more jaded because I'm just like the smartphone stuff doesn't do it for me. It's going to be a blast. And I'm not just talking about the violent show. <laughs> that is extremely ominous. Sonny, leave the Tannerite and gasoline at home. Ponies are flammable, you know. There's a lot of weird shading artifacts that I've mentioned I've seen already. But if you look at Sonny's eyelids as an example, they're discolored. And that also happens sometimes with the lips too. If I were to explain this simply, I think it's mostly because of I think they simplified the ray tracing to like one light bounce or something and the subsurface scattering inside the skin doesn't get to complete because it's only one bounce and it just causes weird discoloration issues still. As we've seen with like generation four, but like the first season yeah. to as the seasons progress, like the animation got better. Yeah. The animators are probably going to be it's learning. It's probably going to be uh, similar. This animation, I know it's not movie animation, but it's just kind of. Eh, I mean, it's not like, it's not terrible, and of course I'm sure we'll get more fluid as it went along. If you uh, watch the 2012 TMNT cartoon, it's a very similar process of like season one was very eh in some places, but then like seasons like later on they just became a lot more fluid and stuff like that. But some of this stuff I'm just like, ooh. I love Maritime Bay Day! I love Hitch's innocence. He's a precious right? being. Right. He's like the sheriff, right? Yes. So in theory, he would see the most gruesome like crime scenes and like the worst of ponies. And he's just in here all sparkles and sunshine. I love Maritime Bay Day. And then the cute little Anne. Oh, he's the Fluttershy of Colin. And that's, I'm, I'm here for that. That's what I say. That's, that's why, huh? That it's, it's the flutters inside you. Yes. The caramel pony corn. Pony corn. Pony corn made from real ponies. I love going to the fair and eating the... Cotton human and the um, human corn and the human dog. Oh, what was up with that bird's face? No, wait a minute. I, I need to rewind. What happened? Why do they? Why do they have fleshy like cheeks? They're flesh colored. What? I'd be fine with that if that was just the eyelids, I guess. But like their cheeks are flesh colored. It's like they're not covered fully with feathers. Give that back! <gasps> That's my phone. Fly. She could fly. <laughs> fly. Fly! I'm not trying to talk shit on them, but also work smarter, not harder. You know this is like literally the worst thing to ever happen to Pip, like literally ever. Phone addiction even happens to ponies. I love the delivery of that line. That's my phone! That's my phone! <laughs> I know the animation isn't quite up to snuff with uh, the movie, but that face. That face. If only Rary were still around, maybe she could wrangle the escaped mannequin pony. How... Uh, how does this happen? Wait just a minute here. They were just in town near the trolley tracks. And all of a sudden they're in the country? Where you can't even see town? On a jump cut? How long have they been chasing this bird? What? Izzy was like... Book at it! These backgrounds, man, they're unironically making Philly Fantasia look incredible. She couldn't do that from the get-go? Look at that. The, you don't even see town behind her. I think they <laughs> really do forget sometimes, like, oh right, magic's back. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I guess if I just had it, it's like, oh. But still, yeah. I blame Pip. <laughs> it's it's always Pip's fault. Don't think so hard. Don't think so hard. Just don't. Oh, I got a headache already. Safe. 
You know, it's a shame is I, I, it's not bad animation. It's just that like you can you can see where they've toned things back because of the budget. Oh, hey, look, it's still on. <laughs> Slightly endearing. <laughs> Extremely annoying. And a little bit of ground glitter never hurt any pony. <laughs> oh, I love that. Calling dirt ground glitter is the most easy thing ever. Well, thank goodness for magic. Oh, yeah. Well, thank goodness for magic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that a new terrible pony pun? I think it is. Let's check the new terrible pony pun counter. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Faux show. Mm, I don't think you can pull faux show off. They're trying like... to have swag <laughs> <laughs> and failing miserably. What's hip? I don't know. <laughs> Use everything. What was that? Did the Pegasi have, like, gangs or something? Is that, like, Pegasi, you know, street? West Coast thing, right? West Coast is the right. Ooh. Well, I, for one, do not agree. Was she just waiting there for everyone to finish their sentences? I, for one, do not agree. Bachelor. It's Apple Bloom's angry cousin. Apple Bloom, you grew up and... Cut your hair. <laughs> but I wish magic had never come back. And I'm not the only pony around here who thinks so. Amish pony. I'm gonna call her not Fluttershy. Posey here has a bit of a point. They're just standing around congratulating themselves for getting the phone back and not really caring much about tearing up Posey's garden or knocking over her mailbox. No, I am sick of your shit. You've ruined my flowers. Why the fuck is magic back? This is young Karen. This, this is, is Karen in the making. This is her in training. <laughs> she even has Fluttershy's colors. No, listen. <laughs> you don't do that. You don't do that to her. <laughs> Wait, are they really avoiding something as commonplace as stairs because it's easier to animate walking up a ramp? That's, wow, That that's actually impressively cheap. You Pegasi are always flying too fast or too low or too high up. At this point in the argument, Posey is just finding reasons to be mad, to be mad. What's wrong with flying high up? Uh, because you'll be entering Class A airspace, obviously. The FAA is not to be messed with. Ugh, I just don't like it, okay? I found the pony with the Twitter account. Just to make it obvious that she's like completely irrational. She's hating on someone that's like completely not affecting her own life. I just don't like it, okay? So I guess that's the extent of our new antagonist's motivations. I, I guess it's only fair. We wouldn't want this random pony to have more depth than the actual main five. I almost got hit in the head by a bag of floating apples yesterday. Actually, they should really practice on keeping their eyes open. That was the whole problem. Right, Sheriff Hitch? Uh, I don't know if I would say that. I really want my movie Hitch back. I want the confident guy that goes after it and has a paid off mortgage and and is so sure of him. I don't, I don't like this Hitch. <laughs> If I stare hard enough, hello green. Do it somewhere else other than my garden. I mean, to be frank, they did crash in her garden. That's true. But she also went off on them being like, I don't like it when Pegasi fly high up in the sky. That interferes with my personal life. <laughs> Fair. Maybe Just there's a reason that her house seems to be all alone. Wow, she was really nice, right guys? It's funny because she was actually not very nice. Get it? Keeping an eye on you, Izzy. We don't need those dirty earth ponies. I can fix flowers with my horn. Oh, come on, Sonny. Let's go home. There it is. The mailbox is now down. Izzy's now fixing it. Yeah, okay, that, that, that's one M. That's one M.A. Larson. That's one for you. Mm -hmm. Wait, what the heck? I, I thought the magic effect was layered on top of the animation, but it's actually casting shadows on the mailbox. The magic glow is casting shadows. I have so many questions. They won't find the unicorns I'm torturing in my basement. If I had a middle finger, I'd be flipping you off right now. Posey might hate magic, but clearly her curtains are magical to hold that shape when opened. Don't worry, Posey. I'm gonna find a way to show you and every pony else just how awesome magic can be. What would be great is if she actually heard her say that. Yeah. And then she opens the window. I don't care! Hello, new toy sale. Every pony something has to have the stained glass window. But it's so pretty. Right? It's really nice. Not hating, just stating. Are we ever going to get it worked enough at the Bright House? I don't think Tell Your Tail had it and make 
make your mark just kind of introduces it out of nowhere. What? Where did they get this house? Where did they get this house? Oh, wait a minute. I know because I watched those stupid cartoons that came out for of it. So you should have watched that prior to this. And so, hmm, okay. That's the little correlation thing. But some of the stuff in the cartoons, I, I don't know. I was completely expecting Make Your Mark to cover that. And it's not. It's just there. <laughs> okay. I, um, maybe the comics will go over it? But, like, the, the first comic's already out, and it, it it also just has the Bright House just there. And the game, obviously, is going to be out by the time of this releases. The game doesn't say anything about it either. I know that for sure. So, like, why is the Bright House here? How did it happen? I, I was totally expecting this to cover, and it's not. That lighthouse is pretty damn big. As someone who needs some personal space, even at a convention... I just can't fathom sharing a room with four other people. And Goldilocks tried this bed, but it was too soft. I don't know if you noticed, but I consider myself a bit of an artist. You think? You're so creative, Izzy, and you're amazing. Oh my gosh, why does that voice just make me think insincere? insincere. You're so creative, Azza. Like, not necessarily, I guess, but it just, it sounds... Where are these voice actors from? Making new things out of old things. <gasps> what do you call it again? I like it's just that that button on there is all part of the layer. So when she squeezes the pillow, the whole thing's like, yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, I want to comment on that. So there's some w two weird things I noticed there. So we first start off with this shot with the close up with the pip. They're really, really, really freaking close. You can tell because of how wide the lens was. Same thing with Izzy. It's same deal. Same real, real, real close up. And her walk. <laughs> In a circle here was looking really, really, really strange. <sighs> That's so unnatural. It's like Izzy is forced to stay aligned within that circle that she's walking in instead of it feeling more freeform. I don't know. Like her angle was like completely locked into the tangent of it. Uh, man. I, I, uh, to make this clear, I know I'm aware. Trust me, I've been there. I, I know that it's obviously most of these problems are caused due to time, budget, and also lack of manpower because of staffing and such. It's inevitable. Doesn't mean they're not problems, though. And I'm going to come on to them no matter what the scenario is. I comment them on my own... Not my own game, but the game I helped work on, the G5 game. I, I'll comment all the like weird negative visual quirks that game has as well. Doesn't matter who did it, who's responsible for it. If there's problems, there's problems. I'll comment on them. I think it's only fair. Unicycling. Unicycling. Yes, yes, that's it. You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. So if a unicorn does unicycling, is it just them riding a bike? I found this. <gasps> is that Sunny's old lantern? How much rust is on that lantern? How long has it been? How did Pip know that was Sunny's old lantern? Was that like a topic of discussion? Maybe. Right? They probably talked about it at some point. Oh, because that's where the little, the little yeah, thing the was. Yeah, the, the earth unity crystal. There you go. Proper terms. Yep, but shh, it has to be a surprise party. Everybody got that? She seems more Pinkie Pie-ish in this movie. Your secret is safe with me. Huff to heart. It's me every time. <laughs> Why did she feel the need to tell Pip? Of all the cast, I think Pip is the one who has the most trouble uh, keeping a secret. <laughs> pizza, pizza, put it in the box! I can overlook the floating spoon on her hoof, but what I can overlook is how she's getting her fetlock hair full of sauce. No, wait, never. She's a unicorn. She could just. I guess I can't overlook that either. How is she handling that spoon? Your fetlock, don't drag your fetlock through the pizza. Oh. I'm gonna deep throw this handle. <laughs> I have been asking you if you want extra cheese on your pizza for like 10 minutes. What's up with you? Thinking about boys. <laughs> it's not her fault, Pip. Maybe she's just distracted by the fact wall tiles aren't supposed to bend this way. The thing with Posey. Why are Pip's eyes weirdly like dead? Did you notice that? They're very like blank stare. The thousand yard stare is definitely something they're going to want to yeah. try to. Did you want extra cheese? <laughs> On your pizza? Same here. How could she not love magic? It's like, it doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't look like lips. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like she had a she bad had a spray, spray tan. tan. <laughs> 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 yeah! Earth ponies have never had magic before. Liar! Liar! And I'm not a witch! I'm your wife! Maybe Posey's jealous. The hell is that crab doing? But it would be pretty cool to be able to levitate things. Okay, so what was he putting in there? It looked like bugs. I assume it's not bugs. 
<laughs> Enjoy your Lunchable. Was there cheese on that before? No. Magic. <laughs> Worth it. Even her like exclamations of like joy are so lackluster. They're so spoken. Like <laughs> there's no heart. That is so much better than flying. Shut up. Shut up. Stop it. You don't see me going like that every time I want to see something. Look at the backgrounds. Again with the ramps. Maybe it's a toy thing? Oh no, it's probably a toy thing. Thing is, I can see the artists really trying their best to make this work. Oh, if she were a stallion, the jokes I'd make. Someday, you too will be able to control your wing boners. Oh, I mean, wow. <laughs> Now, how off balance does that car have to be? She is top heavy. Oh, sometimes I just become God. I just become God sometimes. Oh, it's so inconvenient when I become God. I just slip on shit. Oops, I'm God now. Oops. Hmm. I like the, the lighting on their hair, like the little sheen. Oops, there goes the last remaining memory of Twilight Sparkle. Lost to an animation error. It may be unpredictable, but it's not dangerous. I don't know what the mouth animation there was saying, but it wasn't what came out of Sonny's mouth. Cut to that time you literally exploded with magical energy and toppled the smoothie stand almost off a cliff. <laughs> not dangerous at all. <laughs> Burn your mouth pulling that out. Oh my god. Magic is nothing to be afraid of. Then let it settle. No, oh my god, that's gonna burn you. What are you doing? Dang, let that cool off. I mean, I'd be doing that uh, <laughs> mouth cooling thing. That shit's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sexy. It makes Equestria a, a better place. Hey, do you want to give that another take? Too late. We already sent it to Netflix. Okay, I guess I have to do say one thing about this. As someone who has done voice acting as a voice match for another character, it can be hard to maintain the impression and act. And I don't know uh, what these actors sound like naturally, but it's possible that they're trying way too hard to sound like the original character and not just make it their own. And hopefully over time, they'll kind of fall into the, the character as themselves and not as, well, the original actors from the movie. Honestly, the voice acting, I'm gonna give all the voice actors props. I think the voice actors do a good job, though I did watch that 2D thing before this. So, I think they do a good enough job because it's like, it would be insane if they were like, oh, we got Vanessa Hudgens back. Could you imagine her going to horse conventions? Like that'd just be insane, insane. But like, I think they all do a solid job for the most part. Wait, do you see like the thousand yard stare? How do you fix that? Like you're an artist. How do you? Floating parade! I've watched this thing about seven times. I still have no idea what kind of parade she talked about. Right? Whoa. Whoa. Something. A animated just there. We are going to use Maritime Bay Day as our chance to show off all the amazing things magic can do. No, you don't change a long-standing city celebration without talking to somebody about it. Wait, I don't understand. They just recently brought back magic, right? Isn't that exciting enough? Why do they need to convince ponies it's amazing? Just setting yourself up for failure. We have friendship and magic in our lives again. Friendship and magic. <gasps> Are you ponies in? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I'm so in. The first definitely didn't count. Oh, these sets are so empty. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not trying to be all negative here. It's just so blatantly obvious that something went terribly wrong here. Some people might think that we're being a little harsh on the animation. Mm -hmm. But here's the deal. Hasbro knew what they were getting themselves into with G5. Yeah. Netflix had to have known what they were getting themselves into with G5. Yeah. Like, they took on the burden. Yeah. It shall and must be met. Get the movie team... <laughs> to do well, every episode. To, well, it's it's not only that, it's just the budget for, you know, they've had to do what they can within the budget that Netflix or Hasbro has given them. Well, which, then, know, is unfortunate. up the budget! Come on! Yeah. The bronies, do not fuck around. <laughs> I go on this rant, but, like, I'm not, like, extremely bothered by the animation. Yeah. It just, I know it could look better. I want them to do gooder. Where were you holding that phone? But if you fold it in half, it's kind of the thickness of two phones. 
I like Zip's design. I like all their designs, but Zip's pretty great. Zephyrina? Are you there? Hello, hello, I can't see. <laughs> She's got that new uh, Samsung phone that flips open. It's a folding phone with the phone screen. A couple years ago, no front-facing camera on Zip's phone would be considered an error. But no, now it's a reference to a real phone that only a cartoon princess could afford. At least Pip answers her phone when I call her. You never do. God, this sounds like my mother. <laughs> There's something weird with the coloring. And I think it's a lack of tone mapping, but it's like, it's kind of a complicated topic. Like, if you look at this still image of the lighting of the throne room here, compared to how the movie did it, you'll see a stark difference in how the colors are, like, presented to you. One is very, I guess, like, transition from light to dark is more soft. It's not as harsh. And then the series style, whenever we have, like, really bright light spots, it's very harsh. The tone mapping typically allows you to more properly map out the colors of your render to something that would feel more realistic and more proper. Without toe mapping, you're going to have weird artifacts with the colors whenever something goes from dark to light, and your dynamic range typically is well lower in terms of like how much light there can be. So even with like a small amount of light, it can start like peaking the colors a lot. I don't know what's up with that. Typically, toe mapping isn't really that expensive in terms of like render times and stuff. It's typically pretty free. You were saying? Oh. It was just- Listen, Zip, dear. Don't talk, my dear, I'm talking! You're a princess, darling! You're gonna be queen one day! Traditionally, that would be a downgrade. Don't you know that ponies never become queens in Equestria? I mean, Princess Celestia was like a million years old and she was still a princess. So I guess that whole divine right of wings didn't ever get taken away. I just saw Cloudpuff's face. What's up with that? Your sister has her little salon project. Salon? Salon? <laughs> right? Like, that was weird. I'm thinking it like- It was a weird pronunciation. Like, salad. <laughs> <laughs> Un salad. <laughs> she live streams everything. And I mean everything. And I mean everything. So that's not really necessary. Wow, the future of parenting, everyone. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank you! Okay, I like you now. I like your good character. You're the one I need here. I'm picking favorites. Don't tell me that what I'm doing is wrong. <laughs> For real, she's like, I don't trust Pip to rule Zephyr Heights. <laughs> she live up. streams everything. <laughs> it's interesting to hear a reason as to why Queen Haven doesn't want Pip in charge. And it makes sense. There is a festival soon. And my lease doesn't run out for six more months. The Queen's phone moves on her hoof like three times in the scene. What's... what? <laughs> Skype. <laughs> Ugh. That was not very smooth. Very what? believable. Very believable. No, see, that's from back in the day when it was just like a phone that was like a brick to your head. No, now you have to just sort of free... Is it... Is that... Like this? And then you're good. Their eyes have this weird rippled texture. It looks like saran wrap. <laughs> and I'm like... That looks weird. Is everything okay? No, oh my god, it fucking sucks. I don't want to leave yet. The hair looks great. Leave? Go back to Zephyr Heights. Maybe it's because I didn't watch Tell Your Tale. But wait, they live here? Do I need to watch the chin show? Not the way my mom expects me to be anyway. Stop again? I haven't seen the scene yet, but I can already predict that Zip's gonna open her wings here because they did a model swap on her wings to, to not so, like smooth folded wing version i don't know how atomic adopted the movie rigs to their like format that they needed internally yep there it is wait a minute wait 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 i know there's an emotional scene here but like i'm getting so distracted by the wings here things are open here and they fold back into their normal shape but the previous shot didn't do that what is happening? I don't know, maybe two different animators worked on those two different shots and one animator knew how to do it, one animator didn't. That can happen, especially when like this is a brand new show. Even if all I do is fly around and try out new moves? That is literally what Rainbow Dash did for like the first three seasons of G4. It's fine, trust me. I mean, that was basically Rainbow Dash and I love her, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Saving Philly's check. Flying around being awesome, check. It's great, it's, it's awesome. Don't. Don't sell yourself short. Just These models look so great, they just need some more polish. As Izzy would say, it makes your sparkle shine really bright. That was a closer Izzy voice than the one we have right now. <laughs> How is her mimicking Izzy? Better. Better. 
the actual voice of Izzy. I feel so bad for that VA. Maybe I should just go back to Zephyrites and really try to be the kind of princess every pony is hoping for. Oh, boo-hoo, poor Zip and her Galaxy Z Fold. Won't someone think of the privileged princess? I just wanna pump, pump Zip's hair. Then you can decide. Okay. Did you see that lip quiver? <laughs> that was precious. She's I'm a badass, but I am sad. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little turbulence, no biggie. Their sunglasses make them all powerful. I'm sorry, what? Ooh, that was a close one. Good thing they caught their phones. <laughs> did they not notice that that just happened to themselves? They well, just, mm. they they did scream when they fell. But yeah, then, but then they just but went, then they're like, oh, that was weird. They're falling presumably to like their doom. And she goes, that's not good. Weird. Yes, Zip, that is that is definitely weird where two Pegasi fall out of the sky, losing their phones, almost crashing to their death on the rocks below, and then just fly off like nothing is wrong. <coughs> Enjoy your asbestos. A little dusty. Yeah, the wreaths are dusty. It's uh, great to be out of the box. And hung over Maritime Bay. Pretty cool. Where did I leave my suitcase full of glitter? The TSA confiscated it as a weapon of artistic production. Did I not tell you? I told you. Unhealthy obsession. And that's why I know I love Izzy as a character. And it just makes everything so much worse. It's a bit more Pinkie Pie-ish this time around. She's so precious. Izzy had a very, very particular, like, personality. And that is not really coming off at all in this show so far. I do something else. What about- Whoever's we placing the cameras, stop doing extreme close-ups like that. It doesn't look extremely close if you don't realize what's going on because of the wide lens, right? It's zoomed out quite a bit, but the camera's extremely close and it's distorting the face a lot in terms of like the perspective of it. I'm not very good at baking either. Oh, uh, what's your problem? He's not really interested in anything. You used to love writing song lyrics with me. As a brony. <laughs> It's the face and little <laughs> Well dang, that is impressive. Good morning station. Good morning, Vietnam! Reporting for duty. I like him. Well, what do you say? I love the <laughs> Which sheriffy thing should we do today in Maritime Bay? Hey, hey, hey. I don't like him anymore. I think he's my favorite of the bunch. For this film. Hey, could you grab that record from drawer one? Uh, the first one? No, no, the second one. Uh, drawer two? No, the second drawer one. That's what I said, the second one. No, the second drawer number one. Okay, but who's on first? Way too much. Cool, cool. Just trying something out. Didn't work. Good feedback. <clears throat> He's being very mature about this. Not everyone can handle such feedback. You have the worst sister in the world when it comes to spontaneous song, and you're gonna give him a hard time for it? Strange. Yeah, what's the crab? Chopped liver? Really? <laughs> You're gonna have that line while he's holding the pencil like that? So cute, like these stupid little things. I'm it's, not even paying attention to the plot. I'm just like, oh, It's really freaking cute. Well, I was on the balcony earlier. I got there's a, like a little like mug shot thing in the background there. Tell him already. When, you know what? It was probably nothing. Forget it. <laughs> yep, mm-hmm. She look at the booty. Let's order fries from three different diners and then decide which ones are the best. This okay. sounds kind of fun. Well, at least we know there are at least three different, at least three different diners in, in Maritime Bay. I have no idea how they stay in business because there are no ponies who live here. <gasps> or maybe a puzzle. We literally just finished doing puzzles. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like, I mean, they got the friendship thing down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Sheriff Station. I think that was about the stiffest animation I've ever seen. There's no zero. Hope you don't need to dial zero. There's no zero on the first. <laughs> You're stuck. Thank God 911 does not include a zero. Mm -hmm. I see. The pencil clips through the notepad. Scene ruined. Oh, that shoulder joint, that Hitch's left joint is so twisted. It hurts to look at. I'm talking to no pony. Leave it to GM Barrow to make sure we still have the proper pony pronouns. So like we're Sprout, right? Sprout's gone. <laughs> they just yeeted him? I, listen, what I'm not mad about it. <laughs> what a 
Sprout reforming every villain. He tried to Sprout, couldn't do it. He's gone. <laughs> that was a bad joke. We are not using that. Ooh, the beach looks nice. You did it on purpose. I did not. I did not. I saw you use your magic to drop your umbrella onto my sandcastle. You got your sandcastle in my umbrella. Uh, is this why the cops were called? Holy crap, Equestria is full of Karens. A Karen has called the cops. I wish our crimes were this low key. Okay, I think this special had so little time for a second take that half of it was recorded on the way out of the studio. You're lucky this is something so mundane because it could be something as easy as I was carrying a forklift and it just so happened to have a baby under it. <laughs> <laughs> I was carrying it and then my magic just went away. It's incredible what yeah. shading will do to improve yeah. the animation. Like this pony looks so good because of how the light is hitting her. Ah! Her phone looks like a 3DS. Thursday, noon, beach. No, not this trope. Oh God. Lots of upset ponies. Very strange. Upset ponies? That is not strange at all. It's cool that Zip is the smart one taking notes like Twilight would. Then I realized Spike's been replaced by a phone app. What if I told you there was a glitch in the Matrix? Her wings look really pretty. I don't know how this happened, but the G5 game, the G5 series, and the G5 comics all... Like, their first episodes are covering weird glitches that are happening with the Bright House. We have bad reception! It's too much bandwidth for the magic internet. <laughs> she just watched it glitch so many different times. She's really trusting these wings. If you know the ability to fly is glitching, why would you tempt fate by flying over the cliffs? Whoa, she went that far on one wing beat. I think there might be some gas power involved. Coming to town with us? I just want to push her back into the background, like, to stop talking. No, because I'm working on my own surprise thing for Bay Day. Why is she not telling them? What on earth is she thinking? Uh, have fun. I am the A-plot now. Where the hell did she put that? When you're 3D, it's a lot harder to hide where you're stuffing things. When you're flying, though, where does it go? All I saw was like, <laughs> in the ghost. And then it was gone! <laughs> It looks so felty. Okay, tell me what happened. Wasn't like that entire time them telling him what had happened. He wasn't listening. He just zoned. He was just like, oh. Just Magic shouldn't be allowed here on the beach. I'm just gonna say it. Equestria has a racism problem. I'm a VIP. <laughs> I beach. am press here to report the umbrella <laughs> smashing into the castle. This is a big deal. Maybe I should go back to the station and check the records to see what I can dig up. Yeah, you ponies just hang tight and I'll get back to you. I want my old hitch back. It's amazing that he is a successful sheriff. You gotta work on your people skills if you actually want to be a good sheriff. Uh, conflict! I don't know <laughs> what to do! You know, he was more of a pillar of strength for the community when he was, um, racist? I don't like that. <laughs> the crabs clipping through the sand. Slow walking, but moving fast. What? Ice skating hitch. What the fuck? An egg. Egg. It's Spike. You don't belong here, do you? Why is he talking to it? Eggs can't talk. Just talking down to it, be like, oh, why are you here? You're pink. That's gross. <laughs> New Spike. It's another dragon. That's my guess. How does that egg not belong there? It's obviously in a nest. You know, sea turtles actually crawl up on the beach and bury their eggs in the sand on the beach. Egg, sand, beach, at least you could think it was a, a sea tur- oh. Whoa, that water looks weird! Did it on purpose! I would never do that on- Ah, shit, I have to do my job. Better get out! All oh, roasty and toasty. If you don't know what kind of egg it is, how do you know it's supposed to be roasty and toasty? He could have looked for, like, animals at the beach versus being like, I'm taking you home now. I'll just keep you safe here until we can find who you belong to, okay? Or we'll make one hell of an omelet. I'm Fluttershy 2.0, this won't end badly. Who were you just talking to? <laughs> no, Pony! Technically he's right. I tried to move, but I couldn't for, like, a really long time. Sleep paralysis, demon. This is how I looked when I was doing it. Ugh. I think some pony's pranking me. How do you think she puts the bow on her tail? Her ass just doesn't look good. 
Okay. <laughs> it doesn't look good. I'd like to file a complaint. Fucking Karen! Nobody's got anything better to do. His whole job is just managing Karens all over town. Ah, yes, the Norwegian blue. Lovely plumage. What's wrong with it? It's being like, all right, uh, put it in the complaint box so you feel like you did something and I'm not going to even look at it. The complaint box is over there on the wall. <laughs> Exactly. I approve. I bet all those complaints are from her. <laughs> oh, come on! It's just such a weird show. Next time a Karen, like, bugs me, I'm just gonna... <laughs> as I walk out. Yeah, work that spatula. Thank you, Sonny, for using your mouth like Faust intended. How could it not? How could it not be? The all-new anthem. I died! I freaking knew it! I knew it! Something, something. Something, something, dark side, young Skywalker. Then something, something, something. Okay, that was cute, though. That was funny. You singing? <laughs> <laughs> it is my singing. Yeah. It's the first time I've liked Pip. This is a very different Pip from the movie. You gotta admit, that song was uh, really something. Egad, that look will haunt my dreams. I don't like it. I love it. Oh, shut up, Simon Cowell. Those smiles were like, yes, you're very talented. Just smile and nod so she yes. doesn't think we're scared. Great idea, Izzy. <laughs> There's too much unnecessary laughter. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at those really delicious cupcakes. <laughs> oh, guys, I really hate to tell you, but <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make it. My dog is sick. <laughs> Ooh, now they're a true work of tart. Mmm. <laughs> Just came out of the oven. What are you doing? You're burning yourself again. How do you make them taste like magic? The secret ingredient. I pee in them. Snozberries. I shed on them. Magic. Oh, pinky. Next. We have to make cloud candy next. Oh, the way the shadows go across their face. This is what I mean by like the ray tracing being like incomplete. It's not fully sampled in terms of like how many bounces there are. There's some weird shading artifacts and you can see that all over Pip's body right, right here. Where is she, by the way? Dead. Mm -hmm. Wait, why is Izzy looking for Zip under her hooves? Hmm, she's not under there. Oh, there she is. Did I smush him? Maybe there's no pattern to it. Oh no, Zip, there's definitely a pattern to all the glitches going on here. A pattern of rushed production, that's what. What in the wing feathers? Language, Zip, come on. What in the fuck? Is it Discord? And by that I mean Discord among other ponies, not the character. <laughs> They just don't notice that their soul being sucked from <laughs> above. The random laughter is not helping to make these 3D models less creepy. <laughs> Her hook didn't finish on the plastic printer or something. There's the lines. What are we looking at? We're looking at disappointment. Get used to it. I have a confession. I've been doing drugs. I've been monitoring the crystals. Why is that a confession? <laughs> Why haven't they been helping to monitor it? We're more than halfway through the special, and it's only just now starting the main plot. Something is wrong with them. What? No, there isn't. Oh, wow, that was just... No, you're wrong. It's always annoying to me when, like, you know a character really well, they tell you something's up, it's not there, and then they just immediately are like, you're crazy. No, me neither. Really? Sorry, sis. They are fucking oblivious. Then for what are you apologizing? Doesn't Izzy use her magic, like, 24-7? Does she, she not know. notice? I saw what happened at the beach the other day. Other day? Wait, how many days is it been? It's all felt like the same continuous day. The other day? Like, was it just 10 minutes ago? Yeah! <laughs> I guess I crashed into each other, and I think it's- I'm sorry, Zip. She literally interrupts her. Like, mid-sentence, completely rude, and just goes, I'm sorry, Zip. Like, all, like- <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, but I don't want to hear your bullshit. Yeah, right, right. I gotta move on from this now. <laughs> I've been so caught up in all the festival planning. But I didn't have a chance to tell you that you're crazy. This is all my fault. It is. That magic is glitching? <laughs> magic is not glitching. Shut up. So dismissive of Sunny. Gonna be one of those episodes. <laughs> yeah. You don't find that strange at all? Yeah, bitch! Ugh. I'm right there with you, honey. Nothing new to report. <laughs> trying to hobble. Hobbling around with their three legs. It is not natural to try to make a pony walk on threes. There you are. Have you been ignoring my calls? Again, it's not bad. It's, I think uh, my standards are really high after the movie. And I'm also not used to like, 
really powerful processors that can put a ton of detail into a, an image are a lot less expensive now. So it's not uncommon to have really good lighting, really good textures in a cheaper production that's gonna have less lifelike and realistic animation. And I think the juxtaposition is kind of throwing me off a little bit. No, no, just busy mom. It's like when you're on your phone with your parents and you're trying to get off the phone. And it's like, okay, I love you. All right, love you, bye. All right. There's gotta be something. Where's she pulling this gear from? Main Street appears normal. Except for that mutant broccoli that is still wandering around. Wait, what? <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see how fast she moved in right there? We hear a sound effect to suggest she zoomed in with the binoculars, but then she looks around from the perspective of where she zoomed in. Wait, 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 what? Why do cartoon 3D shows insist on doing that? Where is she? She's still... Mmm, that bothers me so much. It's the rule that they're breaking for seemingly no reason. I don't see the benefits of doing it that way. Hmm. It's a body. I must hide the body. <laughs> Cute! Rosie. What the hell is this? And cozy. Kind of miss Sprout. He was fun. Tip! He's gonna make all those animals claustrophobic. You have been hiding something. Hey! Opens up his pants. <laughs> pants. <laughs> the thing that ponies wear. What is it? No clue. It's an egg. Hey, uh, would you mind keeping this between us for now? Sure. I can zip it. I appreciate that pun and the musical accompaniment. As if the joke wasn't lame enough. Puns are like my bread and butter and I approve. Maybe that will help me remember her name. What? Kiss, 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 kiss. They fucking. <laughs> okay, I ship them. I do. There's some cute expressions in this movie so far. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna be something petty and stupid. Oh, this is terrible. Pip is stuck on the keyboard for emoji again. The fire in Izzy's eyes. Please don't want to be makeovers. I knew it. They're following some My Little Ponytails logic. These little caps aren't really uh, suited for unicorns, are they? I don't know why, but like the tomboy characters just, they get me, man. I love them. Ah, yes. I love these makeovers. They look completely different from the last time we saw them. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I like her gradient mane though. Oh, she was pretty. cute. So ticklish. How on earth are you ticklish on your hose hitch? <laughs> Do you ever laugh to your song in your head? <laughs> Not a fan of main melody? That dude's wings are gold. I do like that they're doing more with the wings and the accessories for the ponies and their bodies in this generation. He should be the next king. He's fabulous enough. Looks very nice. Mine's just on other things. She's got a little stitch mark on her neck there. You worry too, too much. Shut up. No more flying and... Shut the fuck up. Everyone is so dismissive. I have three sisters. I've never gone... But I'm going to now. It's an easy, like, writing trope to just make all the characters, like, completely dismiss and ignore obvious warning signs provided by a character that they trust. What's up with that? Sunny really had just passed off the A-plot to Zip. Chill. Shut up. Nothing is going to happen. Shut up. Sometimes the reflections in their eyes are a little bit too much. Do you see the saran wrap, the ripple look on the eyes now? Occasionally. Like I feel like it, it's popping up more frequently now. I like how the Pegasus hooves are like silver and gold. We've got our friends back. We've got magic back. <laughs> and I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. Main melody, we sing while we style. They said I was a madman for launching my hair salon slash karaoke bar. But who's laughing now? Stop doing drugs. Stop doing drugs. It's weird. This image just makes me kind of sad. You got this whole situation. You got this whole setting. And it's just the lead characters and the two support uh, spa ponies. G4... You could say what you will about flash animation, but they were able to include background characters in the setting. This feels too minimalist. Don't you worry, I have just the song for you. And after what we saw in the movie, this dancing is far too rigid. My Hasbro product placement sense is tingling. This thing folds up in the center, and, and those are speakers, right? They wouldn't be that blatant, would they? Yeah, it's a toy. So kick those up in this <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a child. You'll forget about those cares in a minute or two. She does have a nice voice. This is the epitome of a song just for the sake of having a song. Zip's trying to explain that they have a really big problem, and Pip just shushes her concerns as paranoia. Oh, what's that? The entire world could be in danger and we need to act fast to save it? I'm sure this pop song will make you feel better about that. If you don't worry about climate change, it'll definitely go away. Oh, thank God. And I was really, really stressed out about losing my job and my house being foreclosed, but you've got just the song for me. That's exactly what I needed right now. Got a bot on your mane and that's kind of tragic. Babe, hey, the, one, the one with the red gradient hair. Right? Right? Love her. What are these reflections? What is that? Is there like a dark void to another dimension behind the camera right now? Obviously, it's some kind of glitch with the lights refracting through the plastic material, but it looks genuinely unsettling. Maybe they should take notes from the render glitch. It's the most creative thing in the special. You feel brand new. Oh, you work at a singing salon and you get auto-tuned. That's an insult. Yeah! Good lord, did you stretch before you did that? I actually do like this exaggerated cartoony animation here. There, there's some parts throughout the special where the animation looks good and then it immediately cuts to something that looks downright unfinished. I, I guess I'm just trying to clarify that I don't really hate the animation at all. I'm just more bothered by the story, the writing, the pacing, all that stuff. Put your hooves up, put your hooves up. Zip is terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. Everything is gonna be okay. That wasn't bad. Oh, it felt like the song should have gone a bit longer. We can't just sing a song and ignore everything. Thank you! Well, I don't know about, uh, it worked for Pinkie Pie about 89.73% of the time. If we lose magic this time, we may never get it back again. And it'll be our fault. What is she talking about? Lose magic? Whose fault? Did they not understand English? They literally, everything she said, they're like, huh? It's like they've <laughs> never heard it before. <laughs> they really just tuned her out. Are you ponies okay? Oh. No, they just had an epic orgy. The mutant broccoli returns, and Derp is descendant. I'm normally such a good flyer. I've been doing this for a week. Clearly she's not. Oh, what is wrong with the audio? I noticed it with Izzy's voice sometimes too. I think it was recorded wrong or mixed wrong or something. This is what I've been saying, what every pony's been thinking. <laughs> I'm the Karen pony. Mob, 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 angry, angry. <laughs> and also, I'm here and I'm gonna drive the conflict again because I was walking by and I heard this because I just so happened to be here because I guess I was also going to have a makeover. She's right. I'm not sure. Yeah, no more magic. Everybody sounds so tired. Everyone looks tired. This movie's just tired. I'm tired. Yeah, dude, no more magic. Whoa, those rooms are kicking in. That's not true. We want it to be the best day ever. Okay, time for a quick critique of uh, Sunny's approach. If you're going to host a uh, event in a town, you need to engage the whole town in that creation, which means they needed to go out and interact with the other uh, ponies, not keep it limited to just their group in the lighthouse. In animated shows, everyone patiently waits for mm. everyone to like finish their sentence. So here's Izzy and, and Sunny and everybody just waiting as, as Posey spewing all this stuff out to be like, wait, no. And in real life, it's like, oh, bitch, you like, sweat. <laughs> we in a fight. No fly zone. Or we're not coming. And here come the Wendigos. Are the Wendigos cannon? So that was the same exact cue as G4 for Wendigos. Ooh, Pony Zeus is not very happy with you, Posey. <laughs> How is it that this special has so much time to waste on filler, but then it rushes through these important plot developments like it doesn't have time to unfold naturally? If only there was a pony type that could control the weather. The lost art, honey. It is a lost art, isn't it? Yep. It's like... Cave making. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so... I'm gonna be real. I, this is not hitting. This is just is not hitting that much for me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be completely transparent. This feels more like a strawberry shortcake CGI thing and then like uh, the last gen, but we'll see. The crystal, they might be powered by ponies. They're the Energizer ponies. Isn't that how Rainbow Factory started? Wasn't that kind of realized in the first film anyway? <laughs> so they're just <laughs> replaying the same shit. <laughs> we forgot. <laughs> what? 
How many people are gonna go, what? In this movie? When we were Phillies, I used to steal mom's chocolate dipped cherries and blame it on you. That's pretty dirty, actually. <gasps> <laughs> that face was horrifying. That was bad. That, that was, was horrifying. Not. Again, I love these pip expressions. Except for that one. I don't like karaoke. It's the worst. Ugh. Do I even know you? Zip is just like, fuck you! <laughs> and fuck you! Can you take that back? Karaoke is a fun activity for every age and skill level. <laughs> That's my favorite line in this episode. That was adorable. It was like she was reading the, the pamphlet. <laughs> See, Izzy's my favorite. He's always been my favorite. That's fantastic. That is a top-notch joke. Zip's allowed to like what she likes. Eddie, there's no need to get all huffy about it. And now, it's a Twitter war. Again, there's just, there's nothing natural about this argument. It's just so blatantly the part of the story where they need to force in some conflict. It's about as natural as me telling you that this reaction is sponsored by Rage. Don't call me Huffy. Ugh, I didn't call you Huffy. I said you were me. Oh, I pulled that one before a bunch. Don't call me a jerk. I didn't say you were a jerk. I said you were being a jerk. There is a difference. Everyone can be a jerk. That doesn't mean that you are predominantly a jerk. Her wings glitch out. You were right. This is your fault. What? We all thought you were an idiot. I'm not, I'm not gonna slap my head, but you know, this all could have been avoided with just a little bit of uh, communication. Talk to each other! When ponies aren't treating each other with kindness, when we aren't vibing... Uh, when we aren't vibing... If you have any negative thoughts, you're punished. Here's how it's supposed to be said for the new generation. The beatings will continue until the morale improves. Crystals get weaker, and the more unstable magic becomes an equestria. Didn't they already know this? Someone should show these ponies the movie they starred in, because they clearly haven't seen it. And weather changes! These are all conclusions. Zip already came to, and you all didn't trust her. I wonder if this had anything to do with why the crystals were separated all those years ago. Everything in this looks so stiff. I mean, I remember these little movements, uh, a tilt of the ear, a, a, a tilt in the head. They're, this feels less lively because, well, they're just so rigid. Uh, or why I still can't seem to figure out my alicorn magic. Yeah, there are a lot of unanswered questions here. I do like that. I like the lore. I want to find out. I remember this, but competent. I like this, they're like uncovering the history of why the crystals are separated. They're, you know, they're not just starting a new storyline. We can still make Bay Day the celebration it's supposed to be. <laughs> the little smiles, they're like, I want to make it clear this is not Michael Bay Day. That is a fellow for whom I do not think it's worth celebrating. I say this is a bitter Transformers fan. See, usually when you say harmony, you have other voices to make it an actual harmony. She hasn't built that talent yet where she can sing two voices at once to just... <laughs> I am cruel because I think it would be hilarious if her wings glitched out while she was over that elevator shaft. Probably better she didn't fall. It's here! The big day is here! The big day is here! She comes off more creepy than excited. The day is here! Yeah, that would give me... Fucking nightmare. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. How many ponies talk to inanimate objects in this? The G4 ponies do that? Cause I only ever remember Pinky having a psychotic moment topping, talking to inanimate objects. But, uh... The way it tilted, I just went <laughs> Well, it was a good gift, but now it's, it's in pieces. pieces. <laughs> Jinx. It's the lantern my dad made for me. No, 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 it's not. How can you tell? Not even remotely recognizable. Not even remotely what it should look like. No. It has absolutely no elements at all of the old lantern. Oh no, they ruined it. What they ruined you? it. You ruined it, what did you do? It's the thing that my dad made me. <laughs> and I'm like, how <laughs> does she even recognize it? But it was something from her dad. You don't just know. That's not you cycling, that's making a new one. She made a different lantern. She didn't recreate. She didn't fix it. <laughs> it looks nothing like the lantern her dad made for her. It looks more like the lantern Hasbro made for her. Sometimes when you add a little bit of magic, 
you can fix anything. You hear that, kids? If only you were magicking harder, you could fix your parents' divorce. Let's go add some magic to today and fix this. We'll light everything on fire. The wacky inflatable arm is pretty funny. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube horse. Wacky inflatable arm flailing tube pony. <laughs> wacky inflatable arm flailing tube pony. Why do I still have that memorized? Wow. Well, expecting a vendor hall to have the wacky arm inflatable tube pony. That would be coming intense. soon. Oh look at that! The old style ponies on the banner. That's pretty cool. Hey, don't be making that face, dude. Those are really cool wreaths. Why did they look so offended by that wreath? I mean, they are an eyesore. Ponies have the same reaction to recycled decorations as they have to mortal danger. Mom! How do you oppose gravity? How do you have an upside down ponytail? Lots and lots of hairspray. Hey, Maritime Bay Day, every pony! Welcome! They're like standing on the back of a tent. I like the old decorations better. I could not agree more. Oh, come on, that crystal wreath looks great. Diamond tr and silver spoon. What was that walking animation? <laughs> <gasps> A mini broccoli. <clears throat> hey! Pegasi have an unfair advantage. One, why, why is a unicorn judging an earth pony sandcastle contest? And uh, two, uh, the Earth Ponies kind of have a point. I actually agree with that, sorry. Well, that and it's an adult competing against children. It's just all of a sudden, they're just mad. Even though they've been building a castle for who knows how long, a couple hours? I will kill for this trophy! I've done it before, I'll do it again! I like that guy look. Yeah, this is all just bad news. <laughs> It's almost like us being negative affects magic, therefore climate change. Boss ice cream. Blah. Oh, that looks pretty awful, actually. Blah. I don't blame the Earth Ponies for being upset at the change for their traditions, right? Waste not, want not. I mean, I can relate, but what? Well, there's a guy who'd get along well with Izzy. He's got the munchies. Mm -hmm. Also, I like how that Pegasus, like, ew, from him eating the trash. But then she's immediately like, I'm gonna eat. Wow, look at that shift in emotion. Confusion, utter disgust, excitement, then immediately fear. You have to measure it in frames, not seconds. It's so quick and unnatural. Also, hi, Spike. I kind of like the, the static. Neither will my hooves! <laughs> what? Well, at least they're not blipping like the Marvel Universe. I can't walk. <laughs> Remember what I said earlier about conflict feeling forced or unnatural? Does it get any worse than, oh no, my feet are suddenly stuck to the ground for no logical or pre-established reason? If you're a unicorn, then you can't float things. If you're a pegasus, then you can't fly. If you're an earth pony, your legs turn off. Earth ponies got the absolute worst Stick. The, sh the <laughs> shortest straw. Like, oh, yeah, hey, you know when magic ain't working out? We can't walk. It, it could just be me, but when I, don't, I, would, I don't stand in the middle of a thunderstorm waiting for a performer to go on stage holding a microphone, which is a lightning rod. I have to give it my best shot. Oh my gosh, why is every pony so stupid in this special? We've got much bigger things going on here than the concert ponies. We still need all the positivity we can get, right? Positivity on social media? Girl, you dream big. The story is leaning so far into this absurd notion of blind positivity. The world can literally be ending around you, but as long as you sing a fun song, then none of that matters. Don't worry, so long as we all get along, then we can sing the storm away. Everybody fuck, everybody fuck, everybody fuck. Okay, I take it all back. Pip's funny face makes this all worthwhile. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Every, every pony, please welcome pop star Princess. I don't think now's the time! <laughs> I love how they're all just sticking around in the middle of what looks like a hurricane. <laughs> it's like, we pay to be here. Uh, yeah, I'd be going home if there was debris flying sideways. That's my daughter! And I will behead anyone who laughs at her. Uh oh, the sky's mad that you're being racist. <laughs> oh, they're actually breaking. I don't know about that hitch. 
Be nice. Be nice or the Wendigos will kill us. Be nice or the Empire will succumb to the weather. Be nice because I'm a cop and I said so. We know that magic returning hasn't been easy for every pony. Especially us non-magic user Earth ponies. No! No! The, the magic! It's dying! Can we just stop and appreciate the absurdity of this story for a second? What is the magic? Why is it dying? Is it linked to these few ponies? Or does any argument in all of Equestria matter? If so for either, why? Where did it come from in the first place? Why did it return in the first place? Where did it go in the first place? Why are we still here just to suffer? If lightning struck just mere feet away from them, they'd all be deaf and blind for at least a few seconds, and there'd be a lot more damage than just a few sparks. Eggy is scrambled, Hitch! I had that happen to me very recently. The lightning bolt struck, like, right in front of me. Eggy! Eggy. Eggy! Eggy! Oh, Hitch is such a fresh as a little bee! <laughs> no! What are you- doing he's fine inside you are supposed to be the sheriff taking care of all the ponies of town in the middle of a thunderstorm and you go Sir, i want my hitch back what is that thing the heartless center of equestria just a big black hole that opens up whenever ponies don't get along release the magic <laughs> it's some sort of void which means you should avoid it Nice try, Hasbro, but XQC did the purple void first. No! Not the goop! I do not like this! No! I do not! I do not like green eggs and ham. Thanks for clearing that up, Hitch. For a moment, I was concerned you were enjoying this. Oh no! I mean, Posey okay, but the other one, oh no! Just need to get a giant void and it will suck all the Karens into it. Are they winning? Nope, they're in the hole, they're already dead. I'm going in. I'm going Super Saiyan. Help the Earth Ponies! Okay, <laughs> do what? <laughs> oh, I didn't know I should help before. I was just gonna stand here and watch. Where'd the music go? Wait, what? I thought it felt so actually climactic all of a sudden. You got this, Sonny! Jump, Sonny! Do a flip! It's too dark in there. Take this! It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. There you go. That's a rational decision. Why is this in slow-mo? They made it a black void to save on budget. Is it just me or did anybody else really want the Japanese magical girl huge transformation into Alicorn? <laughs> Fart magic! <laughs> it's a magic fart bubble. <laughs> oh god! Oh, this is worse! One ring to rule them all. And one ring to bring them all together and in the darkness bind them. Just like the alicorns used to do back in the other My Little Pony movies. Okay, this is fine. Just more unexplained magic to solve more unexplained problems. It's not like anyone over the age of five is gonna watch this. Why should anything make sense? Take that hole in the ground. Congratulations, Earth Party RC Havas. You've got feet, palace. Where'd the bunny come from? Where'd the bunny come from? I don't know. I love it though. I mean, if it works for Solid Snake, it should work for the animals. Did you just talk? Didn't you talk to them before though? <gasps> Fluttershy. Fluttershy. <laughs> I'm actually getting tired of everyone going, what? Wow, that's a lot of information. Yeah, well, they can always get more information when they made the limit longer than 140 characters. Nice to meet you, Kenneth. What's the frequency, Kenneth? Flower? Tower? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, it's fucking troll in Central Park. Who remembers Don Bluth's Troll in Central Park? I watched that movie like 50 times. Everything is so bright and shiny and absolutely green. If I don't reference it at all, then it's like that part of my brain is just going to waste. So they turn into earth-bending wood mages. Dope. I always knew they were meant to be farmers. So they did Applejack dirty. You tell me I had to do all that farming without magic? Applejack could have used this, okay? Earth pony magic? 
But that's never happened before. Liar! Wow, Izzy's jump looked really weird there. You don't get to bounce and not have the pinky sound effect. That was weird. When we work together, maybe we can invent new magic. Invent. Just like the Disney did with the force. I didn't think it would be inventing. It'd be more like discovering, but okay. I was just so focused on hoping magic was okay that I lost sight of everything else. I don't know. It kind of sounds like Sunny is apologizing for not taking the problem seriously because she was too distracted by taking it seriously. That's got to be the worst apology ever. Pip, you're gonna have to step up your game for your next YouTuber apology. Can you forgive me? Aw, oh, no. My hoofness. Oh, my hoofness. This human corn is too salty. It's a pawn. It's not even. It's not right. It's just, it's a pony saying. I, I brought this up in the movie, too. Yeah, I know. Oh, the guards have their neck thingies back. What an ordeal. The dog little walk. That's cute, actually. That's really cute. Look at that dog. That's so cute. Okay, Cloud Puff with his little air, like her nose and them. That oh, was mighty. absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Never coming with these earth pony scum again. I'm not going back with you. Or alternatively, maybe we should abolish the monarchy. <laughs> the place is here in Maritime Bay with my friends. I just need more time to figure things out. Zip's Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> this is what happened to Twilight. Yeah. So she's like, all right, come on back. And Twilight's like, but no, I must stay. To investigate magic. To explore who I am. To explore strange new worlds. And to go where no pony has gone before. Is some pony who likes figuring things out. Detective! My little princess investigator. Aww. The actual, like, dialogue and writing all that is fine for this emotional scene. It could work. I'm getting so distracted by the awkward lip syncing. Her lips are literally just moving independently regardless of what the rest of the face is doing. It's just so weird how disconnected it feels. Would you do me a favor? Fuck off. Fuck off! And shut up. What? I'm sorry, it's a what? How did it know? It's a face hugger. I was born through an egg. <laughs> You're about to get another one of me. <laughs> it's, it's merchandise. Ew. I knew it was a dragon. I was right. It's Spike 2. No, hold on. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. Why is it another dragon? No! And it's probably gonna be a girl because Hitch is a guy. Yeah, I know, like, you just, just the energy from the room is just like. Dragon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord in heaven. Why does the dragon have a chin? That chin, though. That thing is, yeah, that's why it's, it's Hitch's baby. Why do you want to put chins on everything? It looks too human. It looks too babyish. I know it's supposed to be cute. It's not. But it's kind of creepy. Mm -mm. You know stuffed animals have like the big ass eyes? I yeah. Think fucking terrifying. <laughs> not a fan. Dragons haven't been seen in Equestria for generations. Oh, so it has been a while since Spike was on board. Adorbs. Sunny, your hair's looking a little stiff. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I just wanted to say that my racism was wrong. This time. No, Posey, you gotta wait your turn. We have like five different resolutions lined up to solve as quickly as possible. All right, so we got the magic fixed itself. Zip's mom isn't so bad after all. The egg hatched into a dragon. And oh, oh, I do see your name on here. Go ahead. I think I just felt left out. Yeah. Exactly. You were more than just feeling left out. We'll make sure that doesn't happen again. Right, guys? Yeah. Of course. Of course. Okay, so I did a little study on some uh, psychiatric journals, and they uh, argued that there are three kinds of prejudice. Resentment towards those you perceive as being more competent than yourself. Magnanimous treatment towards those you perceive as being lower competence than yourself. And contempt shown towards people who you perceive as lower competence than yourself. I would argue she that Posey, or not Fluttershy, was uh, doing the resentment stage. But I think her case might have been more sympathetic if other ponies demonstrated the magnanimous towards l perceived lower competence. Showing that even uh, even people who offer good intentions may still fall victim to to a prejudice. Would you mind singing your new Maritime Bay song? I will on one condition. If you'll sing it with me. Oh, that's... that. Oh. You know the words, right? With no rehearsal time or training. How do you know she can sing? How do you know she can harmonize it? How does she know the lyrics? They really made amends real fast. <laughs> okay. Where is everybody? It's okay now. You can come out. 
Storm's gone. We have a concert. <laughs> Those little ponies. Ooh. Those little ponies. Who this? Who this? The villain. What the fuck? <laughs> It's time to take back what is mine! Ew. Oh my god, that villain looks fucking awful. Who's the photo negative pony? She's like a black light pony. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and put my uh, detective zip skills to the test and say that this is, um, this is the new protagonist of the entire show. This is a good character, uh, one with benevolent and kind intentions uh, that uh, wants to make sure that uh, from a distance, without taking the credit, that she can keep uh, Equestria running smoothly and stably and uh, keep all the ponies' friendships uh, running, uh, much like a god, um, if you will. So yeah, uh, nothing else to see here. And um, thank you for watching. They're like, ooh, new villain. And I'm sitting here like, the new villain? <laughs>an art looking character. Ew, stop. Zoom out. Princess Luza. That is not the kind of a character I was expecting to show up in this show. No, no, you're doing it all wrong. Just look at Queen Haven's example. <laughs> well, that's new. I didn't know about that. So it's an actual alicorn. Physical alicorn. Purple colors, but I don't think it's Twilight. It doesn't seem like it is. It would be weird if it was. Me too. We have oh, hey, they got the visor from uh, Tell Your Tale. The YouTube episode where she got those goggles came out after this special and the continuity is backwards. Where did magic come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Who made the crystals anyway? Answered in the comic. And how did they get separated? Kind of answered in the comic. Oh, wait, wow, Zip is actually doing my bit. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Zip. I hope we get answers soon. So it's basically trying to be like, you should be curious about these things and continue to watch our TV show. Because mm -hmm. we're going to explore all of these things. Yeah, all your answers. All of them. We've got so many questions. Like, why do I keep turning into an Alicorn episode 2? Why does Hitch know how to understand the animals episode 3? And why? What's going to happen with Mnemonicy episode four? No matter what lies ahead, we'll face it together. Did Zip have her harness on just a second ago? I'm not used to this. I was honestly expecting. No, I don't want to watch Pokemon Indigo League. They always make your mark. That was interesting. <laughs> um, the story didn't seem too bad. Um, I do want to make sure I rewatch it a few more times in the future to make sure I can fully absorb that. Because obviously throughout most of this, I was very focused on how the visuals ended up looking in the final product. I, uh, so many things caught my eye that it ended up distracting me somewhat from the story. All right, that was My Little Pony Make Your Mark. All right, so in-depth thoughts on it. I think that it was... Oh. Oh, okay. We... <laughs> I guess there was just a delay to it, but... <laughs> um, cool. But the react is already over. Do I just start it again? From the beginning? <laughs> oh well. So you're saying that there is nothing in this story that contradicts the fact that the song was actually... Everybody fuck! Everybody fuck! <laughs>